Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 95 of Let's Play The Lost Legion, where we're going to attack Santiago, bring about, near enough, the end of the Western Imperium. Unfortunately, they will still be having um, Novgorod, but you can't have it all, all right? You know, I, I want to have it all. Like, I want it all, as uh, Queen said, but uh, just, just I'm not having it all, you know? Uh, but, so yeah, today's episode is we're going to be focusing on that, and then we're going to be having a period of peace again, because we are desperately in need of allowing our troops time to, um, you know, get back to- Oh my god, that was some fucking- There we go, at least I got one throw, right? Yeah, we've, uh, yeah, we've, we're in desperate need of, like, a bit of, um, R&R &R for our troops and, you know, rebuilding of our armies and rebuilding of our, obviously, our clan armies as well, as well as our actual full empire's armies. As uh, even our vassals, not just our clan mates, are um, in need of a lot of troops. So that is going to be pretty much the goal for the next few parts. Is just a rebuilding everything that lot we lost. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that guy will be killed in a minute. Don't worry about him. Okay, apparently they want to. Um, I don't like when they pop out. When they pop out, it means you have to beat them out outside and then beat them like push them back. Which never fucking goes smoothly. So, using a uh, Gladius is probably the best bet, but... You do seem to be getting overwhelmed in a certain... It sense like it's, we get, you know, we're not able to get enough room to stab. Which, with a Gladius, is bloody easy, really. I mean, you just got to be doing the overhead stabs, but... Every time I try to unleash it, it's, uh, you know, someone's slightly in my way. We don't want to go too quickly, because, yep, I'm going to get myself knocked out, because I got pushed in. Oh, wait. Fucking traitor. I recognize that armor. Oh, no, that's a leader. No, no he's not a traitor. He's just a leader. I mean, he's a traitor to the Imperium, because at this point, I'm the rightful leader of this Imperium, and if they don't believe me, then this civil war is, uh, well, thrown far, and I went down. It's not how I wanted the beginning siege to go, so... We'll just end the battle and just skip over it. You know, it's a good two minutes right there. You know, 10 out of 10 for the quickest battle I've probably done in a long time. Yeah. Oh, that was the, the Legatus as well. Um, we'll take the Lost Legions. Lost, lost you. All the Lost Cavalry. Take the Lost Sagittari. Take you. Uh, we've got a little bit more space for... Um, oh, first things first. One second. Just hire all of that. How many of these can I fit? Well, actually, just take all of those, and then we'll we'll figure it out, and we'll take all of you, all of you, all of you, and all of you, and then we'll we'll get rid of them slowly. So we'll get rid of you. Okay, so it's this tier two troops we can have more of. There we go. That's how you do that. But yeah, that should be everything, as far as I know. In yep, Hispania has been completely taken with a relatively boring final siege, unfortunately. But um, there we go. Santiago is now under our control. There is nothing over here now. The only thing they have, and we're going to double check, so obviously we're going to make sure before we call the peace, they have a, literally a single town and go away. We had 92 prisoners, and we're worth 77,000 strength, and we are not even at full strength anymore. Um, so we're going to take ourselves to Genoa. And that is where we're going to drop off our troops. Uh, sorry, drop off our vassals and, you know, we'll, uh, we'll rebuild after that. Um, you look like you have the lease, so you can have it. You know, gotta be, I gotta be, I really don't care at this point, just have the land. It's a decent city as well, 12,000 uh, prosperity. Has anyone leveled up? That's the real question now. No, we're good. Okay, so now it's just a nice trip home. So yeah, that was another beautiful war. Like, how many provinces do we have at this point? We have 47 towns and 60 castles. And there's still so much more to take. It's... Honestly, it's it's either impressive or scary. I, I really don't know. But my next goal is to take out the uh, Byzantines and uh, recapture that for the Imperium, as we've already made... We've already made hearty progress in expanding our lands to more areas. We do need to reclaim Africa and uh, Egyptus, but... Um, We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take our time. We're not. We're not. We're not going to uh, worry about them just yet. We need to rebuild our army because we're under half strength at the uh, moment now for the entirety of our uh, clan. Our, our clan troops. 
So, you know, that's uh, a very important thing as well. We need to make sure we get ourselves back up to the right level of clan troops. And did we lose? Yeah, we lost a... Uh, we lost... Wow, we lost a few troops. Uh, oh, well, we've got them back now, so it's not going to be a problem. So we can have... Yeah, 600 free troops. Great amount of troops, really. A great amount. Now, the uh, Imperium should leave us alone. Uh, same with, you know... Like, as soon as we... The uh, Sturgeons only had that, they left us alone as well. Kiev's yeah, rebels have been defeated. Uh, they're back under control of uh, those who need to be. My granddaughter is now five years old. Yay for us. She's growing nicely, which means in 11... No, 12 more years or so, she'll be ready to fight again. She's going to start taking charge. And she's going to be... Um, she's going to go trekking around the nearby hills. And she's upgraded her social even more. What a little lass. You know, she knows what she's doing, and we appreciate that. But yeah, we've also... that We also now can no longer recruit Imperial troops. That is the biggest problem, is now no more Imperial troops at all, because we own every single Imperium land, I believe. Apart from maybe this one. Nope, that's, uh... That's Kiev and Rus. Yep, we own everything now. Which is either big sad or really good, depending on how you want to swing it. How many, uh... So we're, oh, God, we're down to 68,000 now. Now We were up to 77,000, and the game's like, yeah, you know what? Go back down, go back down 10 k uh, 10k. 10k, Jesus Christ, Joe. Yeah, we've got Volandians sat in our territory, which... I mean, what would what, what he do declaring war on them, apart from a grand total of nothing? Uh, what is the uh, prosperity right now? So Copenhagen, Roma, Rocco, London, Glasgow, Wien... Waterford, Dublin, Cologne, and then Genova. Our, uh, pros our prospects are looking up for our uh, Italian lands, but they're still not, you know, completely being in the top. And owning London and Glasgow is, is apparently in our best interest, I'd say. But hey, everything, you know, everything has a reason, and uh, soon enough we'll bring the Byzantines to heal, remind them that they may be Greek, uh, the Greek Romans. No, they may not be. They may be Roman, but they're the Greek Romans. That's what I was trying to say. We are the true uh, heirs of Roma, which means we should probably rename ourselves from the Lost Legion to the Lost Imperium. But unfortunately, because I can't do one thing I want to do, which was change our color, we're not, we're not going to be able to do it. It's, it's it matters not. Yeah, we'll go to. You know, we'll just uh, dump everyone out here. Off you pop. Uh, we are currently now herding, disorganized, and then we're going to be stupidly over, um... Been, yeah, wait, we're cargo with incapacity? No way. Fucking hell, it actually is. Alright, that's, um... Yeah, that's different, uh... Alright, let's get some stuff... Oh, right, that's what... No, we're not going to recruit... Uh, we're going to go get rid of all of these in Roma uh, to level up our sister... Our, our sisters. Do you know? No, 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 no. We don't have one of those. Our daughter's... Um, no, our wife is... Sorry, fucking hell. One of our... A family member of ours is levels. There we go. See? I, I figured it out in the end. Yeah, they're they're going to just start stealing all the re recruits, aren't they? Shit. Um, I don't even remember what we really need, but I know that Legionari is always a good shout. I need like two archers as well. Yeah, I've got all the Sagittari we need now, which means any of us, any Sagittari in my prisoners, which there is none, so yeah, we don't have to worry about that. We lost twenty-five morale there. Fucking hell. Uh, I think tells me we're always gonna need cavalry, so we'll uh. Bang in a couple of those bad boys, and we'll, you know, well, let's chuck away some stuff while we're waiting. Uh, arrows, you, 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 you. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. A little bit too much there, lads. There we go. Right. Um, let's keep going. Make sure we, we're going to make sure we level up everything, and then we'll uh, worry about, um, you know, the rest of this.
Go on, then we'll have some more heavy cavalry. I mean, it's in our best interest to get the best cavalry of any in any sense. Let's, you know, just let's do it. Uh, what have we got to throw away here? Some bent peeler. We don't have as many to level up now, which is good. We still have a few, unfortunately, but, uh, I say unfortunately, like, it's, you know, such a big, uh, you know, so it, it's like such an upsetting experience. It takes, like, all of two minutes to do it. There we go. We've maxed out everything. Let's go to Roma. Look at those villagers walking slow as shit. 241, though. They're not exactly a pushover. I'll tell you that. So how's the town doing? Still got a million. We're at the level 63 in terms of food, so we're doing great. Keeping that town nice and occupied. Um, right, the most important thing, we're going to go to Smithy. All right, we're not going to go to Smithy yet. We're going to go to the keep. We're going to go to Cash. Cash, not Cash. Uh, we'll chuck away this. We need to kill them before I... Uh, do right, so first things first. We're going to get rid, uh, rid of... Uh, you idiots. We don't need you at the moment, so we'll do that. We'll go to the town. We will sell... Every we'll try and sell everything here first. Okay, good. Everything there's gone. We'll sell everything. We'll basically just sell what we can for now, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, I'm gonna say it does shouldn't take as much too long to sell. Um, you know, to sorry, take out all their money. We don't need any more companions, correct? Correct. So we'll go to the keep. Go to the stash. Uh, let's put some more put more of my peeler in here so we don't uh, accidentally them. And then let's do a little bit of smithing today. Um, so I still need to do smithing for myself, but I'd say my wife is uh, vastly important in that regard. So, she's done all the smithing she can. Um, don't know what I was going to build, but... Okay, just randomly made a, a weapon. What did we make? We randomly made a... Oops, oh, that's fine. Um, actually, you know, we'll buy all that. Yeah, we don't really... You know what? No, we won't buy any of that shit. Not worth it. All right, so she's leveled up now. So she's got three points here. So we'll give her efficient charcoal maker. And then we'll give her the extra steel stuff. Level up her ability to do that a little more. So, she, you know, she can do a little bit more in the future. Um, you've got zero, that's right. Uh, okay, let's go and... So, we're going to now do the uh, walking around and checking all of our settlements to make sure that they're, um, you know, growing in a uh, manner I'm happy with. Because let's be honest, they're probably not. Uh, recruit... I don't know how much more cavalry I need, but uh, take that many. How many does that put me up to? Uh, oh, right. I just realized. Uh, put us up to 164. So we need 11 more cavalry, but we also need to drop off um, drop off the uh, cargo back into the keep before I forget. Weighs a lot. Uh, we do have... We don't really have a lot of food. That's one thing we don't have is a lot of, you know, variety in our food. It's a shame, but, uh, you know, it'll be fine. We need the food so we can sustain uh, our large army for a continuous amount of time. Uh, we've got one re new recruit. Not enough. So we're going to go to Napoli, Palermo, Calagliari, Napoli, Ancona, Ven Venezia, and then all the way back to um, the lovely city of Genova. 1,000, 400, okay, we got this, I got this, 400, yeah. come on, fucking, wish I could type this sometimes, just, you know, fuck it, just have, just have 800 grand, you wankers, right, you're doing okay, let's go to Palermo now, actually, you know, we'll just take the, uh, Palermo, yep, it's, there's no point wasting our time walking when we could, you know, Go considerably quicker via uh, the ocean. 
And I say I shouldn't be out of any of these. I should basically be just starting to get even more and more and more of them. Uh, we were, yeah, we're actually we actually gone down in strength. What the fuck? Yeah, we're back up to seventy thousand though as a, a kingdom, which is good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still missing free cavalry, but that is fine. We didn't need to trade Joe. I needed a repress with managed town. There we go. We'll just do a box down of 500 here. You know what I mean? To be fair, they all seem to be above 10 grand now, which is great. So they're all... Um, they are all a lot better when, when, than when I found them or when then I conquered them, which is pretty much all you can really hope for in that sense. Okay, Cagliari, how are you? Yep, see what I mean? They're, yeah, they're all above, you know, they're all about where we want them. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy. Keep building that up. I mean, you've got loads of time until you're going to need to do that. We've got three more cavalry. One, two, three. There we go. We've got our cavalry. Let's quickly uh, level up as best we can. Uh, yeah, that'd be a little bit, but that's okay. It should mostly just be uh, getting our, uh, like, uh, what's it called up? Our, uh, the, amount of, the large amount of uh, Legionara we've got. Because we've currently got, I'm going to say we should have a few, maybe a hundred Aquilia cohorts. Oh, we have 33. Did not realize we had so little. I thought we had way more than that. Apparently, I'm insane. There we go. Maxed out the recruits. Uh, we're gonna need to go back to the port, to the hard master. Actually, no, we can go to Genova. Genova from here. We will go Genoa, Venezia, and then Palermo. Or Ancona. We've already been to Palermo. We don't need to go to Palermo again. And this will uh, conclude the uh, checking of our provinces, and we can start preparing completely for war. So once our vassals have their armies, you know, complete, which may take them a little bit of time due to the fact there's so many of them trying to recruit in the same area. Uh, Genoa is losing its security, which is a shame. There is a way to get the security up, which is um, upgrade to this to make sure you can have a really large garrison. At the moment, they can still. They, I mean, the, the garrison can still grow actually, so they're they're fine. Genoa's fine. Uh, we need to go to the cat. We need to go to Mikon. We need to go to these two and then the castles to make sure we can pick up some troops. I would love some new legionari. Um, no, now that I think about it, I've got... Well, actually, no, we don't want to use up all of the prisoners just yet. So we're going to need them in the future. You know what? I'm actually going to... I'm going to go quickly back to Roma, and then we'll go to Ancona, and we'll chuck the... Um, we'll chuck the people in prison uh, into the prisons of Rome, and we'll essentially use the prisoners of Rome to hold the prisoners we want for the future, you know? But that way, in the future, we'll uh, be able to actually have these troops be useful. We're also probably going to need to recruit, uh, pu sorry, pull all of our people to an army to actually get them to have their armies maxed out quickly and effectively. Because we want to be at war soon. And the best thing to do, to be the best way to get at war soon is to, you know, just chuck all of my people into an army and then walk around with them. Uh, so, right. So, put, first things first, I'll recruit all those idiots. Put the rest in there. Don't need you. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Fortunately, don't need you because you're um you're wrong. Hackers, don't need you. The rest of that's all fine. So we've got 271 prisoners of actual use in there. The rest need to go into uh we'll just ransom them away. And Connor, how are you doing? It's been a while since we've been and checked down Connor. We've basically spent all of our money as well, but we're still making a bit of money every day, which is all that matters. It's six new prisoners, which we recruited, so we're good on that front. Yeah, it's amazing how much, you know, a little bit of money just suddenly massively increases the ability to grow. Um, yeah, Ancona is the only one. Ancona is currently the weakest settlement we've got, but it's fine. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll get there. Or at least they better. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not brokering an argument here. They're, they're going to get there or they're going to fucking suffer. Buy some, you know, food we don't normally use. Or, sorry, don't doesn't normally survive because people are like, oh my god, I'm going to eat this food straight away. Are they going? I think they're probably going, yeah, they're going to... Oh no, they're not... Nope. 
they they went exactly where I was hoping they wouldn't go. It's um that means we've yeah, we've still got quite a bit of building up for the majority of them to do. It won't take them long, mind you. Like it will be pretty quickly, I would I would assume that they're going to be uh ready. It still is just kind of a little bit of a waiting game, you know? A little bit of a waiting game. Yeah, as soon as we've been to these castles and recruited, uh, every, well, as soon as we've fully recruited, we'll finally go back to, um, we'll finally go to Venezia and prepare. Because uh, once we're in Venezia, once, so once we've got a full army, we'll uh, march down. My goal is to take Thessaloniki, Athena, and then Constantinople in a single war. I mean, realistically, we could probably conquer the entirety of them in a single war. And do you know what? We probably will. The sooner we conquer everyone, the sooner we are uh, able to move to the 1.29, where I have an idea for the first campaign I'm going to do. It's not a campaign that I think a lot of you will be happy with in terms of it will be another Imperial one, but it's going to be because I don't... Because it's going to be with RBM, I want to test RBM before I, you know, do a My Little Warband campaign. I don't want to rush into, uh, rush into it thinking... Oh, my little war band will work perfectly fine with RBM, because I actually don't know. So I'd rather test out the basics of the game first, um, see what, what we can limit, what we can do, uh, and then we'll go from there. It won't be anything like a um, anything like the lost... The, it, we won't be leading our own kingdom, that's all I will say. So do not worry, it will not be a repeat of the Eagle Rising at all. Or, or of this one. I mean, this one was a bit different. This one we went in knowing we were going to be a massive dick to everyone. Right, I think this is enough recruits. I'll just, you know, grab some more after I've got every all of my armies up. Get all those idiots in. I mean, how m I mean, most of them, most of them are nearly done. To be fair, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're basically done. You're near enough to done. Okay, yeah, basically all of them are done apart from these two. So we're gonna go sit here and we'll let the we'll let them come to us, and then when they come to us, we'll then. Actually, you know, go to places and you know, do everything that part, do all that part. Who leveled up? Oh, you did. Well done. Let's get you tracker. One of the best, if not the best, uh, ability in there because it allows us to uh, very quickly follow armies and, you know, make sure we're a little bit faster when we're tracking a specific enemy army. I am going to have to destroy... As soon as we uh, end up going toward the Golden Horde, we're going to have to destroy them as well. Uh, the, uh, sorry, the, the Novgorod and uh, the Sturgeon land. Okay, so we've got two more left, so we're definitely still hitting Fey 100. But the funny thing is, we still need way more troops, so it's, you know, we're still going to hopefully be... Maybe, maybe 3,200? Maybe? I don't think so. I'd like to be 3,200, because it means we're getting something, you know, we're growing a little. I mean, look at them, we have 20 armies and we don't. I mean, if we, we took long enough for our grandchildren to come of age, then yeah, we would definitely be able to have another four armies. After they, of course, had kids. But until then, we'd basically be waiting, you know? And another four armies, like another, maybe another grand, if that. Lathia, you leveled up. Um, I mean, you, all your skills are fine. Like, there's no skill I would suggest that you level up. So we'll just put engineering up, because engineering is going to make everything a lot easier in the long run. Just ignore the fact that we walk slow as shit. I should probably be also... I, I forget, I should also be checking, you know, to see how much... And I should probably pull all the... I want to... I could pull every single army together just to see how big we our army actually is. But I... Oh, do I, though? I could. I feel like that's a gr egregious waste of time, but I also at the same time, I'm like, I kind of want to... What's the furthest away? Eight... Oh, eight days? No, it would take too long, especially on without the Mile of War... But, uh, sorry, with better, without better time... If we had a bit of time, of course, I'd throw everything together, but... You know, we'll do that at the end of the campaign. Once we've conquered everything, we will do that. But now, we march to war. Actually, you know, we only have 8,300 food. That's not enough food. That's 55 days of food. That is not enough food. So. 
we have we're still 62 out yes let's just seriously there's no other food here cool um what is the majority of the weight well i guess the majority of the weight is actually the food we've already got so we'll sell the wood because you know for now we just don't need the wood and we'll slowly sell all this crap off as well It doesn't really look like I'm going to be able to do what I wanted to do in terms of, you know, fill up my food. But you know what? 8,600 food will do. Because we don't have a fucking choice. So let's go to Allison and we'll uh, go from there. Oh, look, we are 3,200. Yay. Um, You're nearly maxed. You're nearly maxed. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to hit max again. So we'll go to uh we'll go to here we'll go to Wien, zagreb belgrad and then we'll go to um i'm gonna take out a town i'm gonna take out like uh you know we'll try and take out some armies first because these guys are going to be the next strongest i think so they're at seventeen thousand. Ooh, seventy thousand. that yeah they're better stronger than the azurai oh no the eye bit are the strongest holy shit um my other first thing re leveled up so she not she's uh he likes fighting and she likes um he loves fighting mock battles i mean my granddaughter's gonna be good at i do still need some more troops myself so we'll quickly go over here and see if i can grab five more troops before we end the uh well yeah we are gonna we're gonna probably end the part as soon as we get to veen because our army walks so damn slow okay because we're gonna be adding a boatload more territory to our uh, ranks and it's gonna be absolutely fucking glorious I'm one away. You bastard. I can't recruit anything else because they're they're not uh they don't fit what we would use. So we're just gonna have to get that one at a later date. So we'll go to Veen and we'll uh, buy some food, end the part, and in the next part we will begin the march to war against the bastards known as the Byzantium. I don't know why the bastards, but they uh they are. They do have uh, up here as well, but I'm gonna assume that our uh, I'll assume that our vassals will do as a solid and go take it for us so we don't have to waste our time doing it. Um, we'll put a... Can we put aggressive war thing? No, we have to be... We have to actually be in a declaration of war to, to you know, devise our um, actual opinion on the war and, you know, if we're going to be aggressive or not. Makes sense. I just was hoping we could do it before. But no, we cannot. Here we go. So do a little bit of selling, a little bit of buying, and then we'll... Uh, you know, we'll uh, get gone. Oh, we'll just buy all those as well. Need not that. I think about it. We can we can buy those because you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, they'll um I'm trying to figure the word. Uh, we can buy all of those for the sole per uh, for the sole reason because we uh we have a, such a big army that uh, it's going to be a long time until we get a uh, um herd. You know what? We've still got a minute left, minute or two left. So we'll go down to Zagreb. We'll, uh, we'll keep going. We'll get as much movement done in this part before the next part, so you know we're not wasting it in the next one. Forest, cargo and capacity. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're probably not going to be catching any of their armies, so we're going to have to really uh, hope we can get them. But, uh, oh yeah, we didn't also level up all of our troops, which I can no longer do because I sold everything. Well, that's a big sad, isn't it? I guess I'll have to buy some more crap. Also, yeah, we'll keep the pack animals for now. We don't need to get rid of them. So we have 65 days of food. So we did actually get a lot of food just from buying all the uh, pack animals. Yep, that's a lot of pack animals. So we should be perfectly sorted on food now. Um, Buy you, buy you, buy you, and that'll do. Uh, we'll quickly chuck these away, and then we'll end the part. Well, Assyrian bows, I assumed you'd be worth more XP. I, Well, as they say, if you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Looks like we've got quite a bit of recruiting to do, or upgrading to do. Looks like we're probably going to have to buy even more shit as well. Don't you just love it when you uh, have to buy more shit? I do. He says sarcastically. Um, I 
Yep, that should be under another another hundred and seventy grand just to make sure my troops are upgraded all the way. Because after all, we we don't, we don't want to be at war with shit army, a, a bad army. We want to make sure we're bringing the best to war we can. Looks like I'm not going to need all of the stuff I've paid for. Yep, uh, let's trade, and we'll just uh, get that back over. And in the next part, guys, we'll continue on. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel membership if you're interested. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys then.